And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who come in late, we are now having a little cooking session right here on the scene. Putting the pot on in here. And we like for you to join in with us and have a ball. Welcome to my series, Atlantean Snacks, where I talk about quick tips and tricks on how to use Confluence and Jira. Um, in this one, I'm going to be talking about creating and managing your pages. So the first thing is that I find that, I mean, creating a page is simple. You just click the Create button. But a lot of people are afraid to get started. They, if they're new to Confluence, they come in and they think that if they get, you know, create a page, they're going to somehow mess something up. Like maybe they mess up the hierarchy of, you know, how the site is organized and whatnot. So I just want to say, like, Confluence, if you think like real world, it's not like a spiral bound notebook where when you create a page, it's set. It's more like a disk bound where you can create your page and you can pick it up and move it to the place it belongs. So don't be afraid to get started. Just get in there and use it. The more you use Confluence, the, the, you know, the easier it becomes um, and the more things you'll find that you want to do with your pages. So to create a page, like I said, you're just going to create this button. Uh, just so you know, whatever page I'm looking at, when I hit create, the page I'm creating will be under this page. So if you see I have this you know, navigational tree, the page I'm going to create is going to be under here. So I'm going to hit create. And I'm going to call this Kitty's Playground. And at this point, if I were to publish this page, that's it. I've created a page. That's all that's needed. I like to give my pages a label um, so that I can create you some of the, you know, the tools that Confluence gives us to, you know, make dynamic content or refer to content or things like that. So I go ahead and I tag my pages. So I have this one sandbox articles because this is an article in the sandbox. I'm a big fan of hyphenating. Uh, if I have two words or, you know, multiple words, but you can, you know, make it all one word if you want. And I'm just going to call this kitties. So this kind of, the way I'm thinking about this is what it is, and, you know, it's, it's part of the sandbox articles, and then tag it for the kind of thing it is. So this is about kitties. So if I have other content about kitties later on, I can pull that content together in some way. All right, that's it. And then I just click publish. And, you know, f anyone watching this space would now get a notification that I just created this new page. Um, in this instance, I actually have the page locked. I'll talk about, um, you know, how to, you know, hide and lock your pages later on for, for permissions. But right now I just have it locked so I'm not bugging everybody with what I'm creating for these videos. Um, so when I created the page, I did the labels um, by you know, hitting a label button that was here by the title. But once I've created the page, the labels actually show up at the bottom of the page and I can, in view mode, still go in and, and edit and change the labels. So that's a good thing to know. So now let's say I've created this page in the wrong spot. To move it, it's very easy. I go to these ellipses and I slide down to move. Once I'm in move, I have the choice to, you know, search for where I want it to be. I can browse, the, you know, the hierarchy of my site to get it in. And, and I can also just look at anything I recently viewed. Okay. If I want to get rid of the page completely, I just go in, I hit delete, and it will delete. It'll turn it into, it'll move it to the trash can. Only the space admin has access to the trash can. They can restore a page for you if you need to get it back. Um, but the thing to know is it's not deleted until the space admin deletes the page. And from the projects that I've been on, nobody really ever takes the time to delete the pages. So they're, they're probably safe in the trash if you need them back. Um, so that's it for how to create pages. Uh, next time I'm going to talk about um, a little bit of formatting of some pages and how to work with a table of contents. So, you know, stay tuned for next time. And if there's something that you are trying to do in Confluence, leave me a note and I will try to see about making a video about that. All right, until next time. <music>